Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Mandate of Heaven playing as Japan. We're so close to the end. We've basically full occupied Scandinavia. In fact, I do think that with the exception of one little island down here, we have full occupied Scandinavia. Now we're waiting for the opportune time to end it and I want to see what Scandinavia ends up doing with Poland. That's going to be kind of important. Either Poland pieces out and f or Prussia sieges back this island, this uh, land or something. I don't know, we're going to find out. Poland's been full occupied. What is this war? The Polish-Scandinavian Nationalist War. Poland attacked them, and Prussia came and killed them, basically. That's what happened. So yeah, let's sort of find out what happens here. This will determine what the wall looks like, but I can't wait too much longer. I've got two nations I need to annex, and I can't until the war is done. Let's make sure that our relations are nice and topped off with both of them. Just to be safe. Don't want to take any unnecessary risks. Let's pull one more diplomat home so we can have a couple free. In fact, let's pull you back too. Don't care. No automated diplomats. Thank you. Uh, I still see some troops. We can't cross because Austria didn't actually get all of the straits under control. That's silly. Austria, you want to go kill them? They're ripe for the taking. There they are. Poland got a gift from Russia. That's funny. Okay. And now they're going for these. Okay. And now that they're sieging this down, I have unfettered access. Excellent. Okay. So I guess we can go ahead and start transferring troops back home. No need to keep them all here. Um, we'll be able to fight Russia pretty soon. We should already be able to fight Tiberistan now. We don't need to fight Poland, depending on what Scandinavia does with them. Actually, I do have a truce with Tiberistan until 1813 still. Yeah, they're going to have to be my last war, I think. But we're very close to it. It's most of the annexations that I'm concerned about. We have to finish them. Now, they are relatively small nations. They don't have a lot of development. So they should be very quick. And if we had to, don't forget, don't forget, we do have a policy that we could pass that I think... Did we not? Wait, did we not have a... I thought we had a policy that would make it faster to integrate. Am I blind? Oh, I guess we don't. I thought that we had a policy that would allow us to um, integrate my vassals a little bit faster, but I guess I am wrong. Huh. Well, worse coming to worse, we do have some diplomatic reputation options, which would cost me extra diplo power, but still would be a little faster. What am I thinking of? Well, I can't see without getting rid of an idea group. That sucks. Hang on. Uh... Rest of expansion impact. It's an influence ideas thing, right? Yeah, it's an influence ideas thing. Ah. Plutocratic ideas comes with a diplomatic annexation cost reduction. That's it, though? No, that's not right. There was a policy that can be passed that greatly reduces it, but I no longer see it. I mean, influence ideas in and of itself does reduce it a bit, but... Hey, okay, they finished their war. Okay, jump on the fort. Get a super good siege general. Okay, so they finished their war. It looks like they took absolutely nothing. Scandinavia had the full occupied and you took nothing? Makes very little sense. Conquer something. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, from Poland? Well, I could get a claim on Poland... I mean, that'd be great, but I can't. So I guess, I guess I'll take the mission, but I don't think it matters. Not yet. All right, well, let's get this fort, because this is something I want to take. Truce with Russia just ended. Excellent. Mexico declared war on Portuguese Louisiana. Okay, take the fort. We have a breach. Russian separatists have fired. You missed. Go kill. Scandinavia wants out. No surprise. Take the fort. Take the fort. Take the fort. Take the fort. Get out of Riga. We don't need to be here anymore. Converts the Christians, the Protestants, and Crete. Okay, that's done. Now, now we get to figure out what we're doing. We have 11.4% overextension right now with a fair long time to wait. So, let's see what would be involved in the wall first. See what that overextension looks like. It would look like this. Okay. So that is... 
a fair bit of overextension right there. That's that's really 74% overextension. Really. It doesn't feel like it should be that much, but okay. So whatever we take here, minus 74.6 is going to be fine. Is what we will be taking for ourselves. Okay. That's what we'd end up doing. Oh, we can definitely handle that. Could take Cola as well for the Great Wall, just for good measure. Yes. This is what we could do. And we would not be personally overextended because we're going to hand this all off to a client state immediately. Give me war reps. Give up your claims in my land. Give me your money. No. You have a lot of money, buddy. There we go. That'll work. We'll bankrupt you. Yes. So that's what we're going to take. It says it's going to cost me a lot of power. I don't believe it. We're going to be fine. It's all about creating that wall. Okie doke. Let us end the war. A coalition can form. Hungary, Russia, Poland, Lithuania, etc. Russia joining a coalition would be very bad right now. But Prussia cannot. So it would be a coalition of Russia, Poland, and Hungary. And that would be very bad. But let's peace out. That's what we wanted. Doink. Okay. Okay. So, new question. Yes, Austria will defend Poland. So at this point, I think we have to assume that we're not going to be able to kill Poland. It's not going to be an option for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the annexation process of you. We're going to rename you real quick. The Great Wall shall become... The old wall. Okay. The old wall. And then we're going to start annexing you. Annex both of them at the same time. It's going to cost me a lot of power. Holy crap. What? We're spending 12 per month? Holy crap. How much freaking diplomatic reputation do I have? That's a lot. I have 8.7 diplo rep. What? That's insane. Holy crap, we're going to bankrupt our Diplo power pretty quick. <laughs> That's amazing. That really is very amazing to me. Okay. Well, we're killing those rebels. Um, let's get you guys to join up with them. Have to kill all those. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah. We cannot assume that we're going to be able to create a new client, uh, new client state. It's not going to happen. So, the Lesser Wall. We're going to rename you to the Great Wall again. New Great Wall. This does mean we're not going to be able to go to war with Hungary and take more land, really. But, it's okay. So the Great Wall is here. Now we have to hand off territory to it. So that's what we're going to do. Add provinces to the Great Wall. We finally get to do it, guys. We finally get to build that Great Wall we were talking about for a long dang time. We created Heaven on Earth... And now, no one else gets it. It's only ours. Mine. All mine. On the plus side, we were actually able to drive Scandinavia out of Poland-Lithuania. That's kind of fun. Okay, hand all this off. You have to be careful, though, not to hand it off to the wrong territory in a minute. Because we're about to get to the other client state. This one. Yes. This is going to be a weird-looking country, ain't it? <laughs> but there we go and just like that we should no longer be overextended and we've created a giant wall between us and Europe and now we shouldn't have any impact on my mandate there we go we lose the holy war and force tributary state against several places we can't conquer Poland anymore because we handed oh wait because we don't have adjacent borders anymore right rely more on trade income screw that and we're not overextended perfect Okay, that worked. That worked very well. We're done. Finally! And once the old wall and stuff is gone, this is like legitimately all of Asia though, right? Like I know Asia technically expands a little bit further into the, this area, I think. At least in the game it does. Yeah, legitimately, we've got all of Asia. Okay, what we need to do next is immediately declare war on Russia before they can join any sort of coalition. 
that's what we need to do next. So let's get some troops nearby. Get you here. You here. You have way too many troops. You here. This is actually fine what we got right now. You need to get out of there, though. Do we have any more black flagged armies? Looks like they were all pretty much able to get out of here. That's good. Uh, Kogane Tochi is the one that's giving me a crap ton of gold. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, you can't go anywhere, apparently. You just finished your fight. And the Great Wall is unseaging that for me. Thank you. Okay, let's kill these guys. And once we get a diplomat free, before they join a coalition. Royal marriage with our wall? Sure. Lesser wall, noble rebels. It's not the lesser wall anymore, don't you know? You can't... You can't get mad about that. The old wall. Nah, we don't care about you. We're annexing you. Okay. So. You has no friends, Russia. Now is the time. Imperialism! Done. Go to Moscow. You, forget that. Kill their army while they're there. You go here. 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 Here and here. And I don't care what you do. Go here, I guess. Doesn't matter. Russia's very dead. We won't bother finishing annexing them until we are done. Uh, coring everything else up. Okay. I guess we'll go ahead and convert Rhodes to Shinto for good measure. Sure, we're going to have the Shinto faith in the Mediterranean. Makes sense. Iron ore quality problems. Don't care. Okay, Russia didn't stack white, but they have really nowhere to go. So, we're fine. Actually, they're going to retreat right here, apparently. No, that's a one one little guy. I don't know what they're going to do. I'm not sure where they're going to run, but it's not going to matter. Okay, Siege of Skov is over already. Oop, they went here. Well, that's fun. Join up. Defend. Not a stack wipe. Close, though. Don't think there's really anything he can do. So we'll just siege all of this. And this is done already. This is going to be an incredibly fast war now, ain't it? Yes, sir, it is. Jump on him. Mexico took a lot of land. Wow, good for them. It's still not a stack wipe. That's fine, we can fix that. Come here. Overwhelming force. It's my favorite way to win wars. And that's the stack wipe. Okay, and that's the Siege of Moscow done. That's the full occupation of Russia. Russia's dead. Good. So, that makes this easy. Now we just have to wait till our cores are done. And we're finished. And in the meantime, we're annexing both our vassals very, very rapidly. We're losing 17 Diplo power per month right now. It's hilarious. But there you go. Okay, now we can spread out based on unrest. Go here. Go here. Go here. Stay put. Go here and here. Let's see if everyone's got a place to go. You guys can stay there, I guess. Good enough. Wow. This has been one heck of a campaign. One heck of a campaign, guys. Austria has started influencing Ravensburg. Don't care. Converted Crete nice and quick. They were ripe for the taking. Could convert some Lithuanian provinces now, but... Don't think that I really care. Let's just try to, like, make the map look good. What can I convert? Could do this. This will take eight months. Let's go ahead and finish that off. Kind of fill in some of the holes, you know? We don't need quite this much Sunni. Russia wants to finish their war. Well, duh! But you don't understand. I've, I've already eaten so much land, I'm very full. So even if you are offering me a Wafathin mint, I cannot eat it right now. I will explode. Kasim Separatists. Okay. Both of you guys jump on that. Uh, next will be... We'll say you. Central Thai. Ten months. A little bit longer. It's fine, though. Hey, what's all this? Who left a trail of crap all over my land? Go siege both of those back. There we go. Okay, rebels are dead. We're about to be. There we go. Now they're dead. 
Spoke a little soon, I admit it, but, you know. Japanese Russia. Oh, this is funny. Now, I wish that the Great Wall text was able to spread a little bit further down, but... This is like a proper Great Wall. I mean, if we're going to be going for an Empire of China thing, then this just makes sense. And we're making so much mandate per month. Non-tributaries is not even a concern. The only thing I have as a non-tributary is Tiberistan, I think. That's it. Once we're done with this, we've actually created a proper heaven with no non-tributaries. That will be hilarious. Radonkadonk. I love it. Okay. Been raided, apparently. That's fun. Hi, it's Bear Stan. Guess what? In a year, I get to murder you. We're actually very close to finish. We actually may be done by this video, for all I know. Maybe next video. I'm not sure. We got some time left to kill. But we're going to finish all of our goals in this video, I think. People sampling new religions. No. I'm not really planning on taking any more tech, so... Let's just not... Let's just not do that. Convert these Sunni. Waiting on the cores! Who's the heck? Bremen exists now. That's fun. Look at Prussia. You know a Prussia campaign would be kind of fun someday. Because Prussia's pretty strong, you know? Prussia's, like, really strong. Frontier hero! Oh. Word has reached us to the frontier provinces of a young general from one of our most influential families. The young man has made a name for himself as an excellent warrior. His success has also made his family grow ever more influential. We're apparently growing fearful of their influence. Charge the general with corruption. Replace him and distance ourselves. We cannot touch this hero of the people lose 10 mandate? Who's, which general is this? One of my really good ones. We cannot touch this hero of the people. It's not my problem, okay? It is not my problem that my guy's a total coward and freaks out that some general is, like, good at what he does. What is this, Rome? Hey, a revolution in Scandinavia has finally started. All right, let's see if we can create revolutionary Scandinavia. That'd be hilarious. New advisor. We could go for some more Diplo rep and finish this off even faster. That said, uh, Kalat is actually about to be done. Say goodbye to Kalat. No? There we go. Say goodbye to the lot. Integration's a slow process. And there goes the old wall. Done. Oh, look at us now. Look at us now. All we gotta do is kill off Russia, kill Tiberistan, and we have won. And I didn't even have to break the truce timers once. See, guys? I, I've, I've had somebody saying frequently in the comment section, you're gonna have to do this. I'm like, I don't think so. Sure enough, we did not. Kong, screw you. I don't want to marry you. You're ugly. We have a lot of free diplomats now. Um, let us improve with some subjects. Does anyone want to be my tributary? Cancel them at war. Never mind. But would anyone want to? Scotland would love nothing better. The one province minor Scotland up here. Sure. I guess we could do that. Or we could just kill you. You got no friends. We could just kill Scotland too. I don't think we care about these islands though. That's the thing. But we could. I don't think it's worth the effort. Whoa, way too many people here. Back up. Back it on up. Thank you. Okay. Why do we have all these tree? Oh, hi. Yes, I guess we did annex some people, didn't we? Do I have mercenaries now? Probably do. No, actually, no mercenaries. What do you know? That's funny. Oh, no, a general died. Was it a good one? It was a pretty good one, but we can get a new one. Boom! A 3, 4, no, sorry. A 4, 5, 3, 2. That's not bad. Hey, we should create some more states. How much power will it take to full annex Russia? Actually, how much overextension do we even get? Maybe I'm worried about nothing. We should just finish them off right now. We should just check that, right? Okay, that's 69 overextension. Mm, it's barely too much. But we're actually about to finish, so that's great. So that's going to cost me about 233 admin power. So I got a fair bit to spend. Uh, let's take a look at some states. Central Thailand. Oh, we got quite a few with some really solid development here. Okay. So, wrong button. Central Thailand. Thailand. Right here. This area. Really? It's got some pretty solid development. All right. We're going to turn you into a state. 
and we're gonna core you up. It's gonna cost me 98 power. Done. Nice. What else? What else we got? Give me more. I don't have the umlaut, but let's see if we can find it anyway. Huda Vendigar. Yes. Really? Oh, I guess we could turn Constantinople and stuff into one. No, wait, that's not, that's Thrace. This? Yeah, actually has a shocking amount of territory. You know, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to turn this into a state, but we could. I think it makes more sense to try and actually make the state stuff look better here. Maybe we should just do that. Maybe we should just make states over here. We don't need the money. Alright, you know what? Fine. We're going to turn these things into states. Okay. I'm going to turn you into a state. Okay. Uh, we're going to turn you into a state. And I think that's... Is that everything we can do? We can do one more. One more state. I guess we'll have to do this one. There we go. Okay. So it's not the most effective technically, but now we get to create some states that actually look good. What we actually could also do is take a look at what our weakest states are. For example, I have a couple really weak ones. Now, some of those are actually in Japan. But, like, where is... Ham... No. Apparently not. Ham Gyeong. This... There's some really weak states up here. We could actually just turn them into territories again. Could do that. Do we care, though? I mean, this looks kind of good as it is. Ah, let's just leave it. It's just cosmetic at this point. It doesn't actually matter. Bunch of cores are done. How's our extension? Just fine. We can end the war with Russia. Take all your money. Go ahead and revoke some cores against me for good measure. That's all we can do right now. And is there anyone we want to placate? Kokane Tochi, placate. End the war with Russia? Done. My font got smaller, not larger. That makes no sense. Core everything, core all the things. So now all that remains is a fight against Tiberistan and we win. Reduce over extension? Sure. Now, to Tiberistan, total war score to conquer all their stuff is 59%, so we definitely can finish them all off in one big war. My truce with them expires in about seven months. Easy enough. Grant export license. I will gain the mandate back. Thank you. Okay. The Great Wall is doing its job. <laughs> the Great Divide. That's the other thing I could have named it. I was thinking about calling it the Great Divide instead. Okay, so we're not converting you. Let's do that. There we go. Very good. This is going to be an awesome time lapse, by the way. There's going to come a point when we get imperialism and we just start exploding across the planet. I mean, seriously, like, we have to own, like, half the world's landmass at this point, right? Between myself and my colonial nations and stuff. It's pretty good. It's not a world conquest run, but let's be honest, I don't really like conquest runs that much, world conquests. First off, you have to be very, very efficient. And I don't think playing as Japan really is an option, frankly. I think you have to play as a nation like the Ottomans or something else that is pretty darn strong in the opening sections. Get some uh, really good core cost reduction and stuff like that. Truce to Bear stands over. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Imperialism! Go here. Uh, where's your capital? That's your capital. Okay, go here. Split, split. Split, go here, 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 here. Uh, split, split, and split, and go here, 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 here. Get a general in charge, you'll do fine. Go for the capital. And this is going to be a nice, easy war. We just need to finish some cores. Plotsky and Separatists have fired. Die, Plotskians! They're dead. Haiti no longer considers the 13 colonies as a rival. We lost a fight. Oh, God! He's got more men than I thought. I thought he had five. He doesn't have five. Hang on. Let's get a general in charge that hopefully allows him to retreat. Oops. Didn't realize he actually had men. He got cocky there. My bad. 
Let's get some reinforcements down here. We'll keep working on your fort, though. Circassian Separatists. It's easy enough. Okay, these guys might be in trouble. Yep, they got stack wiped. I've just lost 20,000 men for no good reason. He f tricked me. I thought there were only five. Because they usually just sit on their capital. It's usually all they do is sit on their capital. So I was like, that's his entire army, is it? Nope. Where's he going? He's going down here, apparently. All right, we're going to chase him down. Uh, you go here. We'll, we'll be fine. It's not like it really matters. It's just annoying. We'll have this army go chase him down wherever he goes. I will follow him. Follow him wherever he may go. There's nowhere that you can run. <laughs> okay. More religions. Uh... Convert some more Sunni. I'm gonna finish off some of these islands, I hope. Okay. Die, please. Good. Chase him. Actually, force march. Chase him. Go here, go here, go here, go here, and go here. And that's gonna be a full occupation. Until such a time that I am done coring Russia, Mexican separatists have fired in Nicaragua. Don't care. And not a stack white, believe it or not. But we're instantly going to kill him anyway. Go kill these guys. A gift from Kong, because they're idiots. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Uh, turn off the force march. Don't lose this fight, please. General died. Okay, we didn't lose this fight. Let's get a general in charge. Squish. All right, that's a stack white. We win. So I lost a general, eh? New one. Wow. Five, six, one, one. Some pretty dang good combat on that. Pretty dang good. Split you guys between here. Let's put some rest down. See risks of rebellions. I think we're more or less okay. Fumi Ostrov. It's gonna be um up here. Yeah. Right here? Alright. 51 regiments. It's gonna be easy enough, though. Die! The important thing is not to let them siege us down so we can continue coring it. There we go. Great Britain once again is declaring war on Portugal. Question now is, is Austria defending? If so, you know it would be fun to finish the series out? I don't know if we have time, but it would be fun is support the independence of these guys and try to take out Great Britain. Can I support your independence? Would you even let me do that? We have to have a positive opinion of them. Oh, we don't like them. Oh, we're not allowed to then. Well, that's a shame. Okay. Epic art produced. Epic! Um, placate Shisai Nihon. Revel in the glory. Okay. Overextension. Getting very close to done. And then we'll end this video. And next video, we have a few years left. Maybe we do declare war on Great Britain and try to make them um, release their colonial nations or something. Shh. Sure, you can have this. And nobody has too much influence, so we're going to be fine. Yeah, I know you want out to Baristan. I understand. You realize it's going to be your full annexation, though, right? Hello, Kazan. Hey, we can afford more tech already. The field howitzer. Artillery shock, fire value, and military tactics. That's fun. Um, I'll transfer some troops up here. Do I have troops over here? No, I saw the black flag and got confused for a second, but no, we're fine. All right, rebels dead. Heretics converted. And a few of the cores are done. Not all of them, though. 
just need a bit more. Overthrow the government, so the Lesser Wall Revolutionaries. Huh. It's gonna be fun, but it's not the Lesser Wall anymore. Gain money from a bountiful harvest. We have 80,000 ducats. And that's all of the cores done. So now, to Baristan. Doink, 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 Ah! Hit the wrong button. No! Stop it! Okay. Full annexation. Give me your money. Revoke a bunch of cores for fun. It doesn't matter, but do it anyway. And done. Let's see what happens now. Boom! Boom! I have all of, uh, all of Asia! I have all of Asia! And all of the Pacific! The entirety is mine! Long live Japan! Ha! Ha! Oh, this is a fun freaking campaign, guys. Fun as heck. Oh, Elodia's dead. Ajiran killed them. You maniacs. It's fine, though. Amazing. Absolutely outstanding show. Wow. All right, we're gonna end this video here. I have to figure out what I wanna do for one last video because we only have six years left. It's not a lot of time. Uh, could fight Hungary, but Austria would defend them. So that's a problem. Um, could fight Great Britain. Austria's already at war with them. They make it pretty easy. Could try to take their last colonies over here. Could, think, could do things like that. Could try to force them to release a nation. That'd also be good. I don't suppose there's anyone that I actually do like. Hey, I can support the independence of British Louisiana. Perfect. Can't support Newfoundland, though. For some reason, we like Louisiana, but the other two were like, nah, screw those guys. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time. <laughs>